Hi, my name is Owen. We come on to all the seven chief marshal, the Baba Kitchen Master. It is on the spot segment, your favorite, you know, uh, that brings you favorite, uh, your favorites from your musicians, actors, prophets, politicians, soccer players, and so forth. Yesterday, I hosted uh, the Ndera uh, King, <laughs> Sulemani Chimbetu, uh, Angari Pano. You can check the interview on our Facebook page and also on my YouTube channel at DJ Ola7. The interview is there on my YouTube channel. You should su subscribe to that one as well. And uh, it is my first time hosting a fashion designer on this platform, uh, on this segment as well. And uh, today's guest is one of the prominent fashion designers uh, we have in our country. He has been in the game since 2014 and has dressed so many celebrities. Uh, he will be telling us how it all started and why he focuses on dressing mainly women. Um, he is misunderstood by many due to his way of dressing, but <laughs> why not? He shall be unpacking all of it tonight. And I am talking about the master of fashion, Tafumane Munenge. Welcome, uh, Tafuma. Thank you for having me, Mr. <laughs> Owen. <laughs> I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? Um, okay, you're looking good. Oh, thank you. I knew I was coming to a station. <laughs> so I took the part. <laughs> <laughs> no, well done on that one. Uh, exactly. And uh, you are known out there as one of the best fashion designers. Um, and uh, you come highly, you know, uh, uh, recommended. on you know, But before we get into, I mean, deep into uh, that, let's start from the beginning. We want to get to know Tapfumane outside fashion. Uh, although we know you eat and breathe fashion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, take us back a little. Uh, who is Tapfumane? Okay. Tapfumane Menenge is a fashion designer. I think you all know. I was born in Kutu, Pandawanda. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to Harare when I was six years. Mm. Yeah. Then I did my primary school, mm -hmm. O-levels, A-levels. Then I enrolled at Chino University to pursue my fashion dream, mm -hmm. which I spent four years there. Then I moved to Jobek and mm. did an internship for two years. Two years there. Then I moved back here in 2014 to launch my fashion brand. Mm -hmm. yes. So you, you you grew up here in Harare? Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> and uh, when did the love I mean, for fashion start? Well, I've always known that I loved fashion mm -hmm. from a very early age. Yeah. I don't go out and do but I need to yes. redoing clothes, mm -hmm. check out my jeans, repurposing them, all those things. Yes, yes. So I only, I think around 2010, that's when I knew this was my career path. Mm. This is what I wanted to do. Yeah. So I started focusing and nurturing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're doing very well. Thank you. By the way, Thank yeah, you so you're doing much. very, very well. Uh, guys, we are live on Facebook. You can check us out on our Facebook. Facebook page, that's Thai FM page. Um, yeah. Uh, is it something you have always wanted to do? Not really. At first, I, w I grew up wanting to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, a doctor? <laughs> yeah. Doctor Tapumane. <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> Funny enough. My yeah. family were like, oh my God, mm -hmm. the way you're doing all this school stuff, what not, what not. Yes. You're going to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. Then come, um, what was it? Um, high school. Yes. Then high school, I was like, ah, nah, mm -hmm. I don't want to be a doctor. Yes. I want to be an accountant now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to yeah. be an accountant now. Uh -huh. Then, yeah, accounting was too serious mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. I wasn't happy. I actually pursued it, but I wasn't happy. Okay. I didn't see myself doing it. Uh -huh. I knew uh, the accounting is going to help me with my fashion. So yes, I might true. as well. Mm -hmm. But, ah, uh, fashion was... What fashion did a very bad Nice one. Back then, our parents yeah. would—I mean—wouldn't uh, consider uh, professionals like a, a, a designer, a musician, or any, you know, uh, actress. Gutunga, uh, gutunga, zuwa, gutunga, zuwa, actress. One angwa, actress, actor. Why is that? Tora se basa chari chari ma 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 biri gedi gudara. But when you told your parents uh, you want to take fashion as a profession, uh, what was their re reaction? It was not easy. Mm -hmm. It was an easy journey. They're like, if you don't want to do accounting, mm -hmm. then you're going to have to pay for yourself. <laughs> you yeah. Have to do yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because it's, it's, you seem like you are failing them. Because as parents, they always have their vision. Yes. For you. Yes. But what I want to tell parents of now, see what your child is good and capable of doing. Mm -hmm. Nature that. You believe in what they are telling you. Mm -hmm. Nature that. Give them time. Give them space. Mm -hmm. Let them think over and over. Watch them as they grow. You can mm -hmm. pick up these traits. Which, hey, this one under yes. this one under uh -huh. and what not, what not, yes. what not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So eventually when they saw I was doing well, mm -hmm. that's when they started appreciating. I'm like, oh, so wow. you can actually do fashion and yes. you can be something out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you design your own stuff? Yes. 
Like that Everything suit that I'm wearing. <laughs> wow, that's a beautiful one. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, you should have brought me maybe one, man. <laughs> <laughs> now do your measurements before I leave. <laughs> okay, great. And uh, you came into business uh, officially in 2014. Uh, before that, what were you doing? Before that, I was still in college. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I started making clothes whilst I was still in college. Okay. Yeah, so I was already making money whilst in college. Mm-hmm. That's how I managed to pay out for my, my school fees. And what inspired the idea of, I mean, starting your own business? I think... Um, you know, growing up in Zimbabwe, you always feel like being employed mm-hmm. is something else that I wasn't going to be capable of doing. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, okay, I need to be an entrepreneur. I need to do something. I need to come up with something of my own. Yes. Something whereby I can make the rules. I can decide what I want it to be, mm-hmm. when to work, what times to work, etc, etc, yeah. and how to manage it. Mm-hmm. So that's how I went about it personally. Wow. Yeah. I have seen that Munupango uh, Tanga business, Papa. I don't know if uh, it's fear uh, that causes that, but uh, in your scenario, uh, did you by any chance doubt yourself? Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. 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 Um, support from mm-hmm. my family and mm-hmm. my friends they're always like Tabuma, get in there mm-hmm. do it this is you this yeah. is what you're meant yeah. to do so I never doubted myself mm-hmm. I knew this was it and the first time I came around into the whole fashion sec- yeah. circle it was an impact huge on mm-hmm. the response was amazing wow from that point when I knew this is it this is my it my time to shine <laughs> <laughs> and you're shining <laughs> thank you and I remember last year Wagabudita uh, in autumn uh, winter uh, 2021 collection that yes. featured uh, models Kiki, uh, Tanya the Therapist, and Natalie, and uh, they looked amazing. Thank you know, you. Uh, to that, uh, how many clothing lines do you have or collections? Um, I have collections. I bring out two collections every year since mm-hmm. 2014. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how many they are now. Wow. <laughs> hey. I hey. always do the autumn and mm-hmm. the wind, um, the autumn and the summer every year. Every year. Every year. It might not be a huge collection. It can mm-hmm. be a fashion, fashion shoot mm-hmm. or a themed something or a video or whatever it is. Yes. But it's always something twice every year. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, when choosing models uh, to showcase your craft, uh, I mean, don't go on a cashin, Not even mm-hmm. with fashion. When I take fashion into perspective, yeah, I want people not to remember the garment, I want people to remember the woman mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah, the moment people remember the garment, it probably means it was shabby oh, or it yes. <laughs> yeah. was something yeah. wrong yeah. with it and mm-hmm. whatnot, whatnot. But the moment people remember the woman mm-hmm. now, it means wow, that garment made that impact. Oh, I, yeah. I, I it makes sense, <laughs> uh, it makes sense. And it's a woman, you know, yeah. uh, your work is uh, out there, out of this world. I mean, uh, your work is really out of this world, and uh, it's phenomenal. Uh, you are actually regarded as one of the best uh, in the country. Do you agree? Yes. <laughs> Not even one of the best, the uh, best. The best. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get your inspiration from? Well, I'm inspired by people around me, mm-hmm. our way of living, the women who are like my backbone around in my family, yeah. be it family and friends, mm-hmm. how they see going through their lives, their hardships. Yeah their prosperities, all those things. Yes. So I take that, then that's my base of inspiration. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, how can I turn this moment into something mm-hmm. through clothes? Through clothes. How can I communicate what's going on right now mm-hmm. through these clothes? Yes. That's how I work. Wow. And let's talk about your fabrics. It's yeah. top notch. Yes. Quality chayo chayo. Do you yeah. also make the fabrics? Not yet, mm-hmm. but we are getting there. Oh, you we're want to make the, the fabric? Yes, we want to make from everything. <laughs> <laughs> from sourcing the cotton to yeah. the final product. Yeah. Wow, I like the vision. Exactly. You know, I like yeah. the vision. How long does it take to, I mean, I mean uh, take you to design an outfit uh, or a suit, wedding gown or a dress? Okay, designs, I can safely say I've got so many because I've been sketching ever since I can remember. Mm-hmm. So it's just the fact of me pulling out. I'm like, okay. What's in now? Mm-hmm. What are people falling in love with? Yeah. How do I transla- translate it through the Tapuma name in way? Yeah. 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 So I just sketch. Then when it comes to making, it depends. Mm-hmm. What is it that I'm making? If it's a suit, probably a week. Yeah. If it's a dress, probably a day. Yeah. It just depends with what it is. And I've noticed that your collection uh, mainly cater for women. Why is that so? 
it's not that they cater for women. Mm. Women appreciate clothes more than men. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> women dress is the way of life. Uh-huh. Men don't. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying. Uh-huh. So you find if I do dress my male clients, definitely they're probably not socialized. Mm-hmm. They are not even out there. They just come collect. They will never even send you the picture mm-hmm. of how they looked. They just wear the stuff and that's yeah. it. But, do, I mean, but, but don't you think that uh, accommodating men also broadens uh, your, your brand? Actually, my male clients are the most paying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I actually make more money through menswear than I do with women's wear. Oh, really? <laughs> how yes. so? It's just that I don't post it and that it's not out there. Mm-hmm. But those men pay. Yeah. Men, when they see something, they like it, mm-hmm. they pay. They pay. Women negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Tapum Matraisha. When I was on the internet, I some kind of, you know. Women negotiate. Yeah. I know uh, running a business is not easy. Yeah. It's not a ro- it's not all rosy. Uh, I got my one my quickly. You actually go through a lot um, in order to make things happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are some of the challenges you have faced in the fashion industry so far? There are a lot. Mm-hmm. There are a lot. Like of recent, you find that um, fabrics are not coming into the country. They're being held up at the borders, and you have timelines, deadlines to meet. Mm-hmm. So you are struggling. Next thing, now you have to resort to something else which you didn't agree with the client. Yeah which is already hindering the way we are conducting our business. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, even where we are sourcing our materials, sometimes you go by for like prototypes. Mm -hmm. And it's time to make the actual product. It's finished. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It can't be Mm -hmm. Mm resourced. Now you have to rethink and redesign and convince the client we're going to go in this direction, which was not the vision before. And how, I mean, uh, what did I now say my problems here, my challenges? How are you dealing with this? You need to communicate. Mm-hmm. Speak to your clients. They need to know exactly. Talk to them. Tell them this is what's happening. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be delayed. This is what's happening. It's gonna take this much time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They need to know. Keep them in the loop so that that way at least yeah. you move together. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, we're talking to Chafuma Nengi, a fashion designer, uh, on the spot. Uh, Panama After Drive. Thank you so much for listening. No Katira right now. Um, you can also check us out on our Facebook page. That's Tafu and Page. We are streaming live. Tina Mukoma Chafuma Nengi. What Tina Pano? It's I mean, it's not easy. Um, staying afloat. Can I watanga bazaraju? Can I watanga chinu? We're talking about top one. How have you managed? I mean, uh, to remain consistent. Oh, well, I don't think about other designers as competition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Because we are all in our different lanes. Mm-hmm. People love us for different things. People come for me for a certain aesthetic that I possess. Mm-hmm. Yes. And people go to the other designer for what they bring. So it's never about competition because already we are inspired differently. Mm-hmm. And what we make is different. Some might even fall in love with me for just my personality. Yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> might even fall in love with the <laughs> next exactly, one. Exactly, exactly. What they do. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So I don't view others as competition. Mm-hmm. I stay in my lane. Yeah. I do what I do and I do it best. Ah, nice. But yeah. uh, do you think, I mean, why any competition now? Do you have competition there? I don't think of it. I would almost drag. No. Ah, nice. I'm not worried about what other designers are doing. Yeah. Yeah. In Takata's mm-hmm. fashion industry, uh, Tafuma, in mm-hmm. our country, how well are we doing as an, uh, I mean, as an industry and not individual? Do you watch me? But fashion-wise, mm-hmm. Zimbabwe, we are far from it. I think we are improving mm-hmm. on a scale of one to hundred. We're probably on like. 15% mm-hmm. to getting there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I've been attending a lot of shows, awards, um, ceremonies of late. Mm-hmm. You'll see people are, are still trying, but they're not yet there. Yeah. We're yeah. yet to hit the mark. Mm-hmm. But the good thing that I love is now people are trying and people are putting effort, mm. which means we are almost close. We'll yeah, get there. yeah. To go 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 I mean, tell us your experience. Yeah, you could deal with those difficult clients. It's very difficult. One thing that I, I would tell and leave with you is that mm-hmm. rich people don't pay as much as the lesser. The lesser appreciate fashion more. Mm-hmm. You find those with money they'll probably go to an international designer mm-hmm. over you. Yeah. Not that you're not equally talented, but they feel that they can be making you that rich. Mm. Exactly. So they'll choose to travel and go to other designers. Mm-hmm. When we here have the talent, not talking about me alone, mm. there are plenty of designers doing great and amazing stuff here yeah. Yeah. locally. Mm-hmm. It's all here. But then you find 
those that come with their hard earned money appreciate you and those are the people that take you somewhere mm, yeah. yeah but uh, are you getting enough recognition well as for me it's all right it's okay i mean when people talk about fashion some say your mm -hmm. names comes to their mind yeah. you're like okay probably i'm doing something right because mm -hmm. in fashion you know there's no exactly. good or bad publicity mm. any publicity <laughs> is publicity, publicity. For fashion, it works in your favor <laughs> yeah that yeah. sort of thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, your brand tough money has it gone globally yet yeah i've showcased um all across africa mm -hmm. i'm yet to attack europe and america which is in the pipeline, mm -hmm. but I need to conquer Zim first. Zim first. <laughs> Zim first. Before I can advance to all these other fashion. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Your brand, uh, your yeah, yeah, pusher right now, I'm sure my awards are going to be in the top of my head. I'm top of my head. I'm going to be in the top of my head. Yeah. My baby, I'm going to be in the top of my head. And, um, I have my ma, ma, ma designs. I'm going to be in the top of Oh, it's something. Yeah. It, it depends. Mm -hmm. Mostly what you create yourself is always a hit. Mm -hmm. But what then people force force you to imitate or copy mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> or get inspired by, mm. that's very difficult now because you now have to think how did that other person create the mm. stuff. Mm. So sometimes mm. you even end up failing because that's not your creation. Mm -hmm. But when you are the one who sketched it, who envisioned yeah. it, put yeah. it down to paper, mm -hmm. that's always a hit because mm. you're now understanding the proportions and where what should sit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell us about your experience, uh, Tafuma. When you traveled, I mean, uh, to other countries, mm -hmm. uh, for fashion events, you those or no go go your experience. Oh well, <laughs> <laughs> the moment you go out there, it's global. Uh -huh. It's a real fashion business. Shato siyana ne kuno kwe bai. Bata nita bata nita. Trying to make it work. Yes. Trying to stay relevant. Uh -huh. Piece things together. There, they've got sponsors. You find Mercedes Benz is sponsoring Fashion Week Africa, mm -hmm. whatnot. All these big companies are attached with fashion. Yeah. So that way you find even the makeup room, the whole set. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 20 makeup artists, each model assigned to their own makeup artist. You even have an assistant, ETC. It's fashion business. Mm -hmm. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, my countries are going to be in the, uh, for those uh, fashion events. Derby. I've been to South Africa. Mm -hmm. I've been to Zambia. Yeah, that's where I've been. What are, how, how, how are they doing there? You go, go. Um, they are pushing. Well, Zimbabwe is picking now, mm -hmm. but then these guys, Zambia now is like really working. They are really mm. pushing. Mm. Like their fashion game is on point. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are even getting scared. Uh -huh. my way. At any competition, competition, no any competition now. We've got upcoming design, even Mozambique. Mm -hmm. They are coming up now, very strong. Mm -hmm. The brands there, you can uh -huh. see, yeah, they are really working. Whom hard. do you wish to collaborate with in the near future? My dream collaboration would be with Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga? <laughs> Why Lady Gaga? She embodies fashion. Uh -huh. She lives with it's fashion just mm -hmm. like me. Mm -hmm. So whenever I see her, it's always a fashion moment. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want with all my garments. Yeah. Whenever I put someone into that garment, it's a fashion moment. <laughs> Whether it's ugly or it's beautiful, it's still <laughs> a fashion moment and people will remember it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tafuba. <laughs> Uh, I have noticed that your clientele is um, the celebrities, the rich, mm -hmm. you know, out of curiosity, mm -hmm. uh, how much is your cheapest designer? <laughs> <laughs> My cheapest design, if it's a, if it's a dress, a simple one, we start from, from 500. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Going up. 500? <laughs> yes. The cheapest? Yeah. And the most expensive? Infinity. <laughs> Infinity. Because <laughs> someone might tell you they want diamonds all over it. Yeah. You go for it. You do it. If it's worth a million, you go for it. If hey. they're willing to pay you, you do it. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Some <laughs> want you to hand beat all the crystals on it. Uh -huh. If you're willing to pay for it, you mm -hmm. go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. questions like I wonder. And uh, I'm going to go WhatsApp number. I think I'll be taking your uh, uh, WhatsApp uh uh, questions. I'm going to me that just open. I'm going to come. I will ask that question. Um, okay. Uh, don't you care for those? I mean, ordinary. Mm -hmm. uh, at least something that's affordable. 
kuna wasi kwa kwanza kuta ai five hundred and kwanza but at least yo the moment it's affordable it's no longer fashion mm. <laughs> fashion is meant for the rich fashion is money when you hang your garments in your closet there yeah. you count that's my money that's my money that's my money yeah. and you're hanging it where you can see it hey cuz it's money <laughs> so the <so> affordability as is the no no i don't kwadza bana ba jawa wat kwadza wat kwadza and uh, you are constantly you know judged for your mm-hmm. controversial dressing mm-hmm. uh doesn't that bother you no not even mm-hmm. the moment you're into fashion and you're not judged then you're doing everything wrong mm-hmm. when the moment you embrace fashion you live to be judged mm-hmm. exactly so you shouldn't be worried about what people perceive of you what yeah. people think of you yeah. that don't distract you it only <laughs> makes you better <laughs> I, i like that i like exactly. the positive i mean uh, vibes yeah. uh, but mm-hmm. what inspires your dressing i'm just inspired by people around me mm-hmm. like okay if i see something i appreciate it i told myself okay mm-hmm. this will look good i don't care if it's from the ladies section or from the men section if i like it mm-hmm. i'll piece it up with on my yep. own creations yeah. play around with it wear it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh this is a personal question are you yeah. seeing so, uh, i mean anyone yes mm-hmm. yes fashion um, fashion is the love of my life <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> is that n1 <anyone? laughs> yes it's a lot you know what mm-hmm. if you check not globally or everywhere mm. the moment you devote yourself to fashion you literally give everything to fashion yeah because it's not easy mm-hmm. fashion is the most difficult job trust me mm. you constantly have to deal with deadlines with clients neck new some not appreciate mm. what you're doing mm-hmm. the mistakes that you're making yeah. you're constantly trying to please everyone mm-hmm. and trust me that can't happen yeah sometimes you do it sometimes you don't yeah. it's the reality of life mm-hmm. with some i always tell my clients it's either we do or we don't oh yeah i yeah. might get you you get me mm-hmm. and definitely what we're going to create is going to be magic mm. but we might fail to get each other and that's a disaster but saka utona kana munhu wako besides fashion na apana singu single ah, yay, 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 yay. <laughs> okay i'll come back to that question as well uh, yeah. but uh, apart from fashion tafuma mm-hmm. um what do you do during your spare time who is tafuma outside fashion and social media um i hang out with my friends mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we go out we mm-hmm. drink we party we talk more fashion mm-hmm. all my friends are around fashion okay yeah <laughs> so yeah that's what we travel mm-hmm. we visit places that interest us yeah we always plan where are we going this year that's where we visit we go have fun mm-hmm. come back to fashion nice yeah. what advice do you have for uh, an inf- uh, aspiring uh, fashion designer Well, if you're aspiring, it probably means you're getting into the wrong career. Mm-hmm. You should know that you're a fashion designer. You shouldn't aspire to be one. Mm. It should be within you. Yeah. Yeah, the moment you're aspiring, then something is wrong. Yeah. Ngoro entrepreneur cha gamai. So you pokata zvipo kwa zvino uchikoro ange anyaya kuti ungonowedzera ruziyo chete but zvanga zviri mauto. I went knowing already. Why does you don't go? That's why I found it hard to finish my degree. Mm. I like I started in 2011 then I only graduated in 2018 wow. because I felt like there's nothing to offer me. Oh. So I was going to read to us what you just the 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 papers. The paper. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um someone say uh Ola how old is how, how old is he? How old are you uh, Tafuma? I'm 31. Mhm. Yeah. Yet yeah, 31. Mm-hmm. Eh ah but message young and gonna aka wonder but I'll try uh Okay, chapo mama 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 message and go about are a bit sensitive. Go, go for them. <laughs> really? <laughs> go for them. Are, are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Someone saying ask him if he is not gay. Are you gay? Well, that's a that's a tricky question. Mm-hmm. Everyone in fashion is gay. What do you mean? It's a happy space. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> It's a happy space to be in fashion. So uh-huh. everybody in fashion is gay. So indicator namna that we fashion we say muno ndoto di When you, when they're asking gay are they referring to sexuality? Yes, sexuality. Yes, sexuality. Sexuality. Mm-hmm. I'm fluid. Please explain, <laughs> explain, elaborate um, further. I can safely say I'm gender non-binary. It's up to me what I want to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I'm to fall in love if it's a girl or if it's a boy, then that's it. Mm-hmm. That's me. As not gonna problem. As not gonna problem. Love is love. Love is love. Yeah. But waka 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 mbosanga na name face la jitita tafuma I I I love you. Yeah. Kakato one. Akaobo. Makatodanana. 
Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something that you pursue. You, when you, when it's me, mm-hmm. I'm setting my goals first. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling myself I'm 31. Mm-hmm. What do I want to be at 40? Yes. 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 I want to retire early. Mm-hmm. Then after that, then that's when I'll start to explore mm-hmm. what do I want to do, which direction do I want to take with mm-hmm. my sexuality. But so far, I was talking to Zadi, which direction to take? No, I'm fluid. Anything goes. Whatever that excites <laughs> me. Toto is a malobolere. Malobolere is a good day. Good day. But uh, your, your family, your Gakura, Nayo, but you want to maybe uh, even I'm, I'm fluid. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure they understand because of yeah. the Jaira. Parents mm. know, they can tell, they will know, like, okay, our child is growing up, probably we've got feminine traits, mm-hmm. masculine traits. Yes, yes, they see that it's mm-hmm. not something that they're going to be shocked about when you tell them. Like when you say, yeah, we yeah, don't yeah, discuss yeah. it. We don't I'm talking about it. No. I don't go zone, but it's, I, it's the same thing as discussing a straight person. Mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm. straight. Then people want to discuss it. <laughs> then what? <laughs> <laughs> That's, I, I, I like I like yeah, that. I like the way you are you're explaining. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes I I, I always watch Somizi uh, mm-hmm. from South Africa. Mm-hmm. He's very open about it. Yeah. He doesn't hide it. No. Um, and South Africa wakato ngomu accept agadaro. But in your own uh, opinion, mm-hmm. do you think our Zimbabwean community are ready? Uh, to talk about LGBTQ? Well, I think to some extent they are. Mm-hmm. They know about it. They've seen it. They, one in ten people around you is probably a- affiliated with the LGBTQ. Mm-hmm. So it's not something new. There's always someone that you know around you mm-hmm. or that you see on television or on social media, whatever it might be. Mm-hmm. So people know about it. It might be something that they don't want to talk about it, mm-hmm. but they see it every day. <laughs> they know about it. It's nothing new. Because we, 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 we know, and uh, most people, they know, this is a very sensitive uh, issue. Mm-hmm. And because of the um, society, Yataka Kudzwa Mairi, um, he just saying he is accepted that uh, you know um, is a LGBTQ, mm-hmm. but uh, now what would be your advice to whoever is listening right now? Uh, even if I believe you, I never know what would like that. Mm-hmm. Well, my advice is love people the way they are. Don't be judged. You're not the one who brought them down here. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Let them live their path the way they want it to be. Exactly. You live your life. If the next person has no interference in your life mm-hmm. and is not disturbing the way you live. It basically means they have no harm in your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I also judge where you are I'm judged all the time. I'm judged all the time. But mm-hmm. when you know your true self, it's not something that should affect you mm-hmm. or be worried or stressed about it and not even discuss it. The more you discuss it, the more people are aware about it. Mm. So me, I'm not worried about being judged or people calling me names and whatnot, whatnot. Mm-hmm. I'm not bothered at all. Tafuma, this is a no holds bar show. Yeah. We we hear that uh, a lot of celebrities are into this. Yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, I mean, big guns are into in, into this. Do you agree? Well, I always feel like everyone is heading here and again encounter mm-hmm. whether male or female. You might have had that thought in your head at mm-hmm. one point in time. Mm-hmm. So some choose to explore it. Some choose not to. It's all up to you. Mm-hmm. It's your decision. It's your decision. Yeah. So they could be there. Uh-huh. Yeah. I haven't run into any, but mm-hmm. I've read stories of some. Uh-huh. Exactly. But uh, is it safe to call you our own Somizi? No, no, no. I don't want to be called Somizi because I'm Tapumane. <laughs> <laughs> you no, can no, no. call me our own Tapumane. Our own Tapumane in, in, in a way. <laughs> Not our own Somizi. Uh-huh. But in, in, in a way. <laughs> our own Tapumane would be amazing. Amazing? Yes, I am me. <laughs> to talk about the brand Tapumane. I'm not a brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm I'm not a brand. My clothing is the brand. It's the brand. Yeah. You are not the brand. I'm a person outside fashion. Mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And people uh, people should appreciate me for my fashion. Yeah. Not for me. Yeah. Yeah. I have a separate life from my fashion. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, that's a uh, top for for you. What you tell me about? Um. All right. There's, there's someone here. Um. Hans, our communities are not ready. Uh. Except those who have been outside the country. Uh, but we must face the reality, guys. It's happening. What's your take to this? That's true. That's a very valid point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like it's something that people just need to be educated about. Mm-hmm. People need to learn that people are different. Not everybody's going to be the same. Mm-hmm. People are brought up differently. People are 
born with different chromosomes and people behave differently mm-hmm. and people some choose some are born like that mm. it's totally up to you you are living your life you only get one chance mm-hmm. you can't live hiding fear of what uh, what the next person is going to think of you or judge or say because mm-hmm. you're only given one chance to be here on earth yeah so live life to the fullest don't be bothered just do you, be you. <laughs> <laughs> do you go to church no you don't go to church no, no. it's a choice not that I do it's a choice. I feel like Christianity is too judgmental. Mm-hmm. Yes, so I'm still yet to discover what relation um, religion that I want to be affiliated with. Mm-hmm. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm a bit confused, but I, I, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Uh, it's too judgmental for real when it comes to issues, I mean, like these issues, especially in Zimbabwe. Uh, mm-hmm. Like LGBTQ. Uh, Christianity, uh, in a way, I not so accept. So is that the reason why you are not going to church? No, or no, no. It's, not, it's not about them being judgmental about LGBTQ issues only. Mm-hmm. It's about how the next person is quick to check faults within the next person without realizing the faults oh, within themselves. Yes, That's yes. That's the only problem I have mm-hmm, with Christianity. Mm-hmm. Ah. They are quick to point fingers at one percent. <laughs> but yeah, in a rugby. One boy to tell us a way, way, way. Before you go on to judge the next person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, lastly, we say uh, to you about that, that is subject uh, mm-hmm. before we move on. Um, you understand that uh, our community, even my churches, if not Tora LGBTQ is something which is not godly, mm-hmm. which is not godly, uh, what would be your sentiments? Well, that's them. People are entitled to their opinions. And you not sure go religion, religion if we affiliate and you not believe out. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You are not forced. If Christianity doesn't align with your beliefs and what you want to be, mm-hmm. find something else that aligns with that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You can even affiliate. You can love you. You can be your own religion. Mm-hmm. God is love. That's all we know. <laughs> God is love. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I will not be for being who you are. No. Can I go one? Mm-hmm. No. That's great. And ah, uh, but message But at least Tafuma uh, is being real. Tafuma is there as they come. And uh, but it's just, uh, I'm sure my okay, my messages are true. I can't even read them. Yeah. Uh, are a bit hostile. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It's the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you expect anything. Yeah, yeah. but I was mm-hmm. so I was talking to the champion. I was like, I know, oh, la, why that person? Uh, why in Zimbabwe? I accept anything. Mm-hmm. That's life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but do, do you think, is there like my organizations here in Zimbabwe? I know, me, Ravan, you There are plenty. Last time I checked, there should have been like eight or nine or ten organizations. Yeah. A lot. So it, it maybe is it because I was asking to China, not only the organizations, but those people are good. Uh, I choose to be like this. Uh, I choose to be by. Mm-hmm. I was asking to so that it just on the organizations. No, it's not coming out in the open mm-hmm. for someone who is not going to benefit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's out in the open for someone who is going to benefit from it. Okay. Yeah. How how when you say benefit, what do you mean? Like it can't be open to someone who is straight, mm-hmm. but how will it help you mm-hmm. exactly? Oh, yes, you know, you know, it's like you know, probably I'm LGBT, I've experienced at that. Oh, yes, and they need help from that organization. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, okay, mm-hmm. I, I, I understand. And and it's no tender tapuma, Zikuru, ne, Nguva, I was told about it, so but um, Pane Umagati and the team, you know, Kupa respect. Uh, thanks to Tapfuma, Sandro Zako, Neku Tichene, Sandro No Dadanes, Dingas, I can take my celebrities, Edu, but no one of my shows. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then, Umaya turns the chocolate in the Jacob Tapfuma, Yoyarguti, Christianity. I see Christianity. Can I agana so this and can I agana so this the real Christianity? I'm not going to go a changed person. Someone is saying this. Oh, well, yeah, if someone is to educate me, mm-hmm. I'm open. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You can I, change your thoughts? Yes, I, I just have to believe in, in it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Do you person should come with an open heart and mm-hmm. take me through it. 
Munesha kanaka and get me to know. Exactly. But ndika so tanga ndika dika dika ndika so ona yo past and what you've been doing and what not. Tsino kona ndirambi. Kuti hazvacha hazvacha buda. But kuti maybe bar to be a change person I don't know change from your sexuality to someone Uh, sexuality is not something that you can change mm-hmm. i can only know i want to change or do this or going in that direction yeah when i've explored a lot <laughs> i'm young <laughs> you still want to explore yes, i need to know what i want to do uh-huh. where i want to be with exactly all mm-hmm. those things in that way that's when i'll sit down and i'm like okay i tried this it didn't work i tried mm-hmm. that it didn't work probably I'm asexual what mm-hmm. is it that I want to be mm-hmm. my decision mm-hmm. yeah haza tafuba eh is asizo Zimbabwe we are not ready for this haza asizo for Zimbabwe la but chakaku inspire to pinde mu mazwiri chi tafuma is it because program in South Africa both South Africa and I know they accept it uh openly uh, they don't they don't hide or you know hit the bush around this issue wari nyatsongo nanga pazviri ndo zvakaku inspire pakaenda o zvinhu zvakakura zviri mauri even pangori muno muZimbabwe o wakaona someone or something zvakaku zvoku inspire kupinda mazviri the problem that i have with that question is people think it's like you're joining a cult or yeah uri kujoina something like the reason why both artists imagine exactly but that nakuzi jaira like waona chino of what my way and ka kujambira into this thing <laughs> <laughs> yes that sort of thing mm-hmm. it's not something that you can say it's joining because mm-hmm. it's not a union mm-hmm. or it's not like a what do you call it you know where the church is yeah but then munu you are allowed to choose mm-hmm. your path of life mhm au dzirwe nemunhu and au uchike kuti mninga achafunge nezvazvo or kuti munhu achada kuita sei nezvazvo yes it's your path of life it was carved out for you mm. and you only saka yo you live your life the way it was carved out <laughs> some might even say history repeats itself mm-hmm. what happened in the bible might be repeating itself through me mm. or through the next person mm. exactly So are you the first person to be like that in your family or maybe kwa gara kune vamo we don't talk about it sexuality is something that I'm actually shocked that I even spoke about it yeah mm. 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 <laughs> I don't even talk about it because <laughs> I it's not something that even bothers me or something that I even think about mm. I don't even think about it because mm. it's not what I am trying to attain right now yes. right now yes. I'm chasing money I want to be something <laughs> I want to conquer Zimbabwe then conquer the world conquer the world That's exactly. what I want to do mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. exploring my sexuality I'll do that when I've retired when I've ample time mm. to discover mm. and revisit and think of who I am I like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, 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 what's your what, what's your net worth? What <laughs> <laughs> you've been telling us about 500 years dollars when trades or something? What's your net worth? You should be a billionaire by now. No, no. <laughs> you can only we can only talk about my net worth if mm-hmm. they've updated it on Forbes. Oh, <laughs> but for, for now, for no, now. We can't. We can't. We can't because they have to piece in everything that I have together uh-huh. and come and amount to something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah, wow. Ah, okay. And mashoko anga de kusiya ku muri ye Zimbabwe yakaterera right now um tafuma ndiye kuti kudi. Oh well, all I can say is support fashion, support your own. Mhm. This is our legacy to some of us believe in your children nature them they want to be soccer stars mm-hmm. if they want to be athletes if they want to be fashion designers artists mm-hmm. whatever they might want to be mm-hmm. let them be see that at a young age nature it give them full support mm-hmm. they will become something the good thing about artists they never fail mm-hmm. Okay, thank you so much uh, Tafuma. My message is that I want this but anja kwasungeni chenderera mberi mamwe acho. Hanzi Tafuma do you believe in God? Something like alku yaka wanda my message. Yes, yes I do. Mhm. I do believe in God. God is universal. God mm-hmm. is love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mhm. Uh hey. Uh <laughs> My message is I don't know what we're going to get that. I want that that sticker. I got one design. I think what's up you know what's up you know what I'm going to go to go crash. Um but I want to fund the tafuma makakura muri wanga nokumba kwenyu how many boys how many girls but then from my mom and my father is just me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. 
and it's just me. All right, Afuma. Vandogu zukubata haru kubata pabi like vandogu zotenga yo yo yes yo. I mean, my dresses are cool, chichi my suits and everything. Vandogu kubata pabi. They can find me on Instagram and on Facebook. My contact details are there in mm-hmm. bold. Vandogu zoku kubata pabi. Vandogu kubata pabi. I want to know Tinder uh, Skuru uh, Tafuma. Thank you so much for coming on the After Drive. Thank you for having me. So much fun. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun indeed. <laughs> exactly. uh, thank you so much, guys. My name is Owen. We're Commodore and Ola 7, the Chief Air Marshal, the Barbo Kitchen Master. I'm back again on radio uh, next week. Uh, that's Sunday. This, yeah, Sunday. Uh, I'll be back on radio Sunday. And uh, Teji broadcast live from the Jacaranda Music Festival. Don't go to Teji, what did Sunday? Iko, go, go. But you can follow me on Instagram at DJ Ola 7, uh, Facebook page, DJ Ola 7 Star FM. And thanks to the crew behind the scenes. That's uh, Mike Allowed 5 Mushunje, the guy behind the cameras. And uh, Nyengetelai Dingana, the producer of the show. Thank you so much, guys. But Davimi Sakutim Swim Monday, Pandru, we have after drive. Each and every live, Zagaba Facebook. Chitaura na baba e, Vaka dona Vaka dona Vaka vanyarara Zekuto tiva nivesi Vaka tiva baba wafa Ndoku yende Kwa kuchipatara Vaka tonjuhose chukari wafa Kwa kuhisi kwa mmochari e, Kwe usiku weso Vaka raru mmochari e, Then the following day uh, Ndoku zomuka ama skati e, Asifanga wachiti wa Vaka sana kufa Vanga waka baduwa nechando Ndoku zoenda kumba Pakisuka kumbaba kasuka kumbaba kuine namo yavo Vanu waka zara vanu waka unga na eh, It's bizarre It's bizarre <laughs> That's what bizarre stories But eh, Zinu za katu iti It's unbelievable But iti vanu waka manya Paka ito chipata pata Vaka ziti Lama basa ema woko Pa nguwa ito zo Ah guys <laughs> Mucha zonya tons Kwa eh, Nyaya ine usue Monday pa, ah, pa after drive Pana pandi kwa za 7.30 Tinege tina o live Ndichayedza Nekuwa barita kutindiedza Kubatana na chiremba wacho Anu Zia yeah, ganga pronouns are dead. Kutaiwa hamu nwa pagi sina. Then in chala kunzgo zogare adzimai vacho. Kuti pavaga zo zgo nyai tuma boa zoka. Avas kuteri kumbaro garne chipoko. Saga nyai zi ticha zibata paro pa after drive. Do mami rechirongwa. Do zatini pa after drive every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Pa after drive rangu standrons oh and we cover don't. Ah, uh, kwadas musaro zakanaga. Bye bye. <laughs>